Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, celestial star nations of the Galactic Alliance of Truth and Harmony of the Law of One. We are now on the eighth day of ten galactic activation portal days in a row of the Red Serpent Wave Spell on the Mayan Zoltkin calendar. The massive energetics of the higher realms continue to flood Mother Earth and all her children of the sun with adamantine liquid plasma waves of the Holy Spirit. We had another trinity of activations again today, beginning with our local Solaris, releasing a series of C-class solar flares and an M-class flare maxing at M1.3737 into the 73 code at 2303 UTC. We also had several blackouts on the Schumann charts and then two white spikes of light at 29 hertz and a big blast at 55 hertz. Fifth dimensional and beyond energies anchoring in. Pachamama also received two more powerful activations today on the Ring of Fire with a magnitude 6.1 earthquake in Japan at 10.03 UTC and an M6.0 quake in Tonga at 011 UTC at a depth of 223 kilometers. We are deep in the zero point energy of the void and the divine feminine mother goddess to where the stillness is becoming prevalent. The power of silence is instilling all star seed earth angelics of the 144 with the courage and strength to move mountains and have a positive ripple effect through the quantum elysium field of full potentiality. All ground crew earth angelics are consciously co-creating and manifesting the highest possible timeline for the freedom codes of all sentient beings of the pure way of infinite light and infinite life. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful prayer of healing through releasing negative energies. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 26 degrees, 37 minutes Leo, 37 into 73, heaven on earth. The sun is at 5 degrees, 20 minutes Gemini. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 6 degrees Gemini. Workmen drilling for oil. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 27 degrees Leo. Daybreak. The luminescence of dawn in the eastern sky. From astrologyweekly.com And from the Summit Lighthouse, the age of the mother. The Aquarian age is the age of the mother and the Holy Spirit. It is the age when we are meant to experience and express the mother aspect of God. Coming to understand this feminine aspect of God can liberate the creative feminine energy within us, both man and woman, the energy of beauty and creativity, intuition and inspiration. And from Divine Sistar of the Light Valerie A. Elster, Original Earth Codes Restored, Earth Ley Lines plus Magic Grids, especially in this country when the Native Americans were moved into reservations, the original codes and pieces they held were also removed. When the animals were moved and segregated, the energies and natural ecosystem were disrupted. The stolen land stripped out the original codes. The land was literally holding the flow. This is the true wealth. It is in the land, the natural laws of creation. When this is disrupted, everything is disrupted. The energetic ley lines are purposeful. Most of the grid work we do is to restore this broken chain. So much has been done. Gratitude to the grid workers around the world. So much love from ValerieElster.com 
and from divine sister of the light jennifer okangale sharing a little avian light language wow they are a high vibe the message we have the ability to recode everything from within we have the keys to release ourselves from any cage and never underestimate another being you never know their spiritual rank sometimes ascended masters are within that raven on the street divine consciousness originally seeded into the elements minerals plants and animals and they are no less aware than homo sapiens holding this awareness is embodying the law of one blue avian from celticgoddess.org and from divine sister of the light amara atlantis atlantis is rising the agreement to become the voice for the new atlantis rising is in my blood the agreement is not only a soul covenant with the creator it is a mission on behalf of my people the myrrh and with all of humanity thank you for choosing to learn from me and ride this wave of sweeping changes into the new golden age of atlantis no matter how the outside world wants to project otherwise the plan for planet earth is only one outcome ascension thank you for choosing to be here remain soul led my friends the best is truly yet to come i love you all from ameratlantis.com and today from divine sister of the light linda lee dear family of love and light the divine has intensified the divine intervention to clear the planet and humanity the divine says that gaia has requested the divine to carry out special operations and divine intervention to clear the old energies so that gaia's ascension plan can move forward smoothly the divine says that the intervention is designed to help with the unfoldment of the divine plan therefore anything is that is in the way of the divine plan will face the divine intervention and spiritual laws the divine asks light workers to keep up the good work and stay in the high vibrational place allow the clearing to happen know that the divine is in control all is well indeed thank you for your powerful love and light divine blessings to you always linda lee gaia the divine and the company of heaven so it is and from divine bro thor of the light pars kute we will only have that beautiful organic timeline if we all do our part and now is the time our soul pick to begin seeing the code so what is the code our universe is composed of patterns these patterns exist on every level of existence from the microscopic all the way up to the universe itself and we see the same patterns repeating on every level these patterns are ordered they are not random and they are created by sacred geometry equations and these equations consist of numbers numerology is the code of the universe and when we know how to interpret numerology we can see the code of the universe we can interpret the meaning behind messages in nature and the world around us and we can begin to see through time as quantum physicists have explained that time does not actually exist it is an illusion when we connect to the energy that is beyond time and space which many refer to as divine source then we become a sorcerer that is what's happening in our moment of awakening we stepped into our power by connecting directly with divine source we see the divine source code numerology the word sorcerer has been used incorrectly by many it simply means someone who is able to connect directly to divine source itself and become one with it while numerology is the divine source code astrology is like the gears in the machine each planet is a different size and they all move in interconnected patterns influencing each other and humanity much like gears in a clock tower when we understand how these gears move we know how the machine the matrix works within divine love of one pars Kute. and from divine sister of the light ra james from now until may 28th we continue to move through a stretch of galactic activation portal days 
Expect the Ascension upgrades to continue. June 3rd kicks off 20 center days in a row. Center days are the 20 days in the middle of the harmonic module and Zolkin cycle. They are 20 core days in a row. The 20 core days are the spinal column of the Mayan calendar or Zolkin man. They are the umbilical cord to the energetic center of our galaxy. During these center days, we will move through a period of energetic attunement. You will feel much more in the now or in the present of where your life has brought you. It's a time to go within, to rest, and to really take care of yourself and your energy. It's a time to pause and realign with the energies. During the center days, we can tap into the past, present, and future more easily. During these 20 center days, this is where the past and the future meet each other. Those 20 center days are very much a gap between worlds. It's a great time for healing, tapping in for clarity about the future, and balance. If you don't know where you're headed in life, this is the best space to figure it out from. June 4th is our Sagittarius full moon. Time to embrace the unknown. Life is trying to take you on an adventure. Are you hearing the call? Stay focused on what lights your fire right now. June also brings us the summer solstice. Let's just say a lot is going on energetically. From Sparks of Divine Light Healing .com. And today from Divine Energy Works, we are currently moving through the Galactic Activation Portal Days, 10 consecutive days from May 19th to May 28th during which a special energetic gateway is open, and we are receiving the transmissions of the extremely high frequencies of the Ascension Plasma waves through our Sun, from Alcyon, the Great Central Sun, and Sirius, our Greater Central Sun, carrying powerful galactic activations and DNA upgrades, light body activations, 5D upgrades to our chakra system and nervous system. During these days, an increase in the ascension symptoms are very likely, both on the emotional and physical levels, as we rapidly change the density of our bodies. Extremely exhausted, highly emotional, easily triggered, vivid dreams. Jupiter conjunct, true north node. We are fast approaching a very significant multidimensional event of 2023. Jupiter conjunct True North Node and Taurus on June 1st. As Jupiter, the galactic activator, aligns with the North Node of Destiny, the celestial point, representing our highest timeline. A powerful gateway of transformation will open up, creating magical opportunities in the direction of our soul missions and the fulfillment of our dreams. From Divine Sistar of the Light, Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athens. The twelve parallel aspects of the self are directly connected to the twelve zodiac signs, our DNA lineage, and the physical realms that exist beyond the known lands. Working with the twelve parallel aspects, we are connecting to what we call the true quantum world, and we are bringing salvation and remedy to all of them. Each one who remembers is contributing to the restoration of the truth for all. We are remembering together, and together we will bring the simulation down when the time comes. The twelve zodiac signs as we know them are a distorted version of the true twelve worlds of our true lineage. As humanity is accepting inner remembrance, 144 coming in, there will be unprecedented realizations on the nature of this system we are living in, and most of our known history and programming will just dissolve away, including the globe earth theory which has been the main distortion and deception for mass control. The twin flames via their DNA code are the first to be reclaiming their true rights and jurisdictions upon the lands, and will be showing the way to the rest. Our true spiritual families are here to support everyone, to remember and totally heal from the mass amnesia. The truth is that if the program was not so deep and successful, more people would have to be able to reject the false images and information earlier, but we are getting there at a fast pace. 
The transition to the truth can be challenging for the mind, as the mind was an easy target for the fallen program. Part of this transition might include periods of shocks, as the nervous system will be trying to process the new organic information and the true nature of the world, which differentiates so much from the data of the fallen program that humanity is used to processing. There is a huge effort from our guides and true families to support each and every one for the smoothest transition possible. At the time of the revelations, the fallen ones will try to deceive the masses again by giving them more false information and misdirections. So what is important is for people to stay connected to their inner divine guidance and keep their eyes and ears closed to the sirens. Our inner unification of body, soul, and spirit is the embodiment of the Holy Trinity, is the next key that will upgrade our systems greatly and in a way shield us even further in the face of the upcoming false information and events. We are in the process of fully aligning to our true destiny, destination, and repositioning ourselves according to our organic self, away from the old distorted reality and into divine and living co-creation. Erini, Huna Ma Anata Kumara, and from Divine Brother of the Light Rick Jewers. What is to be known as the 17th Stargate has direct access to this dimension now. It has been activated through opening energetics, is unprecedented and not previously written about in the procession of the planet in relation to the overall ascension. The Stargate, and also may be properly referenced as the dimensional portal, is transient on the current earth plane of existence, is rectangular slot shaped and allows for direct Pleiadian access as well as access for other benevolent off-world races similar to mankind. It is through your own knowledge and connection that will allow for these other dimensional contacts to have more of a visual presence in your reality, and reality as a whole. The opening of this 17th Stargate was a strategic offensive move by the Guardians to expedite the ascension and the overall separation from the fourth-dimensional nefarious representatives and their lesser attributes of non-truth. The confusion and distortion is in current flux as a result of refining the process and granting easier access to simplified alignment. Your most recent past of extensive upgrades has allowed dimensionally for the Stargate to be opened and is a great surprise in the least for the benefit it ensues. Love and light and gratitude to all, Rick Jewers. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica. Masters of Light, simply remember, my ancient light skills are returning. My light path is awakening, my DNA is activating. I bring forth new and ancient light templates in this now moment. I continue to let the journey flow as I'm activated in light. From KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144, God Code It is important to raise your vibrations out of lifetimes of karmic relationship lessons. The truth on this is being revealed so you can detox the mind games and programming others have taught you in life. Doing so will free you from being dependent on these relationships and attract an abundant life. Committing to your health and wellness on all levels will help purify the old energies and connections. This is the next step into your resurrection of Divine Feminine Christ leadership and creating the happiness you know you deserve. Utilize the awakening happening this weekend to rewrite your story, including the relationships you desire to have and how you would like others to treat you. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn, from 144godcode.com. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Colleen Lemma. The moon, ruler of our subconscious emotional responses, is shifting from Leo the Lion to Virgo the Virgin at 11.05 p.m. EDT. While she is in dramatic Leo, she will be making a connection to ethereal Neptune, 
ruler of universal love and transcendence. Just after her shift into discerning Virgo, she will make a connection to powerful Pluto, ruler of transformation and transmutation. Our emotional bodies are moving through an evolution, even if it is bit by bit. The heart chakra is expanding into greater spiritual love, and the mental body is adapting to higher spiritual intelligence. Hold the intention that your most profound spiritual development and soul progression take place as you move into 5D ways of being and experiencing. Blessings of love and light to all. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Venus and Cancer, sextile Uranus and Taurus. Mars and Leo square the North Node in Taurus and the South Node in Scorpio. Yesterday's sore square between Venus and Chiron is still in play, but now revolutionary Uranus acts as a mediator and pressure release. Suddenly there are new thoughts, new perspectives, new values that dry tears and allow for some objectivity. Here is a renewed appreciation for one another, a different path, a novel source of income, a welcome upgrade, if we allow it. Sometimes the only way you can move past pain is to shake things up, seize the chance for change. Mars too presses for courageous action, where before we might have shied at going after what we want, now we're urged to do things differently. If you feel cornered, ask yourself, where am I willing to let go? Where have I got too comfortable? Where am I afraid to face the unknown, let go of conflict? Stop fighting yourself. There is such strength bound into your being. If you're still stuck, toss a coin or pull a card to inspire momentum. Take control. Choose the pursuit of happiness. Activate your light. From LeahWhitehorse.com 222 flowing in. And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 113, Red Solar Skywalker. Solar is the name for the number nine, and its keywords are intention, pulse, and realize. The ninth day of the Red Serpent Wave spell is potentially one of the most powerful days of the Zolkeen. In any wave spell, the ninth day boosts the energy sky high, and so if you combine that with the portal day energy, there you have an explosive situation. How you handle that depends on how much you can summon up your intention. Utilize this energy rather than be overwhelmed by it is the message here. Today is the Red Skywalker and its keywords are space, wakefulness, and explore. Oh, how Skywalker likes to explore as he is naturally courageous. Why not join him on an adventure today and open your mind? When you combine Skywalker's energy with today's number, the result is intention to explore or realize wakefulness. There is so much boldness today that it would be a crying shame not to make good use of it. If you need to get out of your comfort zone and tackle an issue you've been putting off because you haven't got the nerve, the Skywalker is here for you. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Solar Skywalker, Nine Bane, Keen 113, 26th of May 2023, Pulsing Bliss. Galactic Activation Portal Day Number 8 It's 26 5 2023 equal 8 5 7 equal 8 12 equal 8 3 equal 11 equal 2 Day Codes 26 Empowerment Through Compassion 8 Infinite Abundant Source Flow 11 Portal Gate Polarity Illumination 2 Twins Partners Cooperation Alliances Month year codes 5, Freedom, Liberation, Change, Transformation. 7, Magic, Mystic, Spiritual, Solitude, Initiation. 12, Acquiring Strength, Wisdom. 3, Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity. 20, The Awakening, Clear Vision. 23, Royal Star of the Lion, Strength, Protection, Support. Keen 113, Equal 5, Freedom, Liberation. A brilliant code today to liberate our love and bliss pulsing from infinite source through this 11-2 double galactic activation portal day. 
Today is a totally expansive and transformative day, a huge portal of awakening to infinite levels of bliss. Day 8 out of 10 gap days, we are coming to the end of the tunnel. Take a breath, 3 days to go, nearly out. Day 9 in the Red Serpent Wave Spell of Survival Instinct, Kundalini Rising, Life Force, Passion, and Rapid Transformation through Shedding Our Old Skin. Today we are realizing the pulse of the life force flowing through us as a current rising through our Kundalini Awakening. Now that our survival fears have been cleared, our Kundalini is free to flow. This allows us to explore the expansive realms of the cosmos, multidimensional, non-linear ripples of awakening bliss consciousness throughout the universe. Tone of creation, solar tone 9 operates in the spiritual realm, action realizing power pulses, essence intention. The ninth day is the one that gives the last push prior to manifestation. The solar phase is where we wake up to the fact that our will affects the reality we experience. So we begin pulsing, extending our intent into realization. Today we are pulsing this energy through our Kundalini channel, our expanded Antakarana, the tube of light that flows from the great central sun source through our physical vessel into the central crystal core of Nova Gaia. We can flow with this current today connecting to all that is. As we travel through these expanded states, we become fearlessly free to explore, discovering the infinite abundance that flows through creation, which is amplified by today's 26-8 coding. We are holding this knowingness of infinite cosmic abundance in order to release the collective unconscious fears and scarcity programming, transforming our revelations around abundance thus allowing the planetary dream of abundance for all beings to pulse through us, fueling our creations. And so mote it be, dear ones, a brilliant day for dreaming, astral traveling, time traveling, adventuring, and sky walking. Meditate in order to witness what the cosmos has in store for you. By purifying your connections to the cosmic planes, allowing for greater expansion, and realizing the pulses of abundance and bliss flowing your way. Today's question is how can I pulse the life force through my vessel to realize total expansion, awakening to the universal flow of infinite bliss? Divine blessings for your unbounded expansion throughout the cosmos. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 113, Red Solar Skywalker. The mantra, the code for today is, I pulse in order to explore. Realizing wakefulness, I seal the output of space. With the solar tone of intention, I am guided by the power of universal water. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Heidi Milliken, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your support. And we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you. So we're grateful for each and every one of you. 
If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful prayer from Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurelia. Prayer of Healing Through Releasing Negative Energies I am a master of divine expression. I now release all separation and limitations that no longer serve my path of light. I release all vows of poverty and limitations that I ever made in this and past incarnations. I release all imprints, implants, negative thought forms, black magic spells and curses, negative patterns of the human ego, illness and disease patterns, and all energies that no longer serve my path of light. By the intervention of divine grace, with my full intent, I choose to release all energies of separation, limitations, and all blockages back to the universe. I ask for these energies to be purified and transformed into the highest form of light. I invoke the assistance of the angelic realms, Master Hilarion, Mother Mary, Archangel Raphael, my monad, and all ascended masters to release from my being and world all levels of energies that are less than my divine blueprint of perfection and my eternal victory in the light through my ascension. And so be it, beloved I am. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed weekend ahead as we complete the final weekend of this powerful, magical, mystical month of May and continue our journey through the ascension spiral and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.